today we're going to be leaving from Sesrim. We'll backtrack slightly and hop a left onto the C19 and come up here when we reach Solitaire after we've had the best apple pie in the world. We're going to take a left here and go all the way up and then left onto the C14 through Volfus Bay and up to Swakopmund. It's 347 kilometers and roughly about four and a half hours without stops. So let's see how we go. We've packed up camp and Brendan and Juliet are just having a quick shower and then we are going to head off to Sesrim Canyon. We decided to leave it till today just because yesterday was way too hot and it actually only cooled down at 8 o'clock last night. So we're going to go do that this morning and then we're going to Solitaire to have some of the best apple strudel in the universe. And then from there we will be heading up to Swakopmund. found my way in. That was pretty easy actually. Okay, we've come to Solitaire so we can taste the world famous apple strudel pie. I'm hoping they're open, otherwise it'll be very sad. Let's go see. is definitely worth it very tasty although it could do with a nice dollop of ice cream or cream or something so if they have that ask for that very yum and most welcome mid-morning snack before heading on to soccer point Diamonds in Namibia, okay. <coughs> no. <laughs> but I got you a crystal.
finally arrived in Swakop Mines and we are on our way to go and meet some friends of ours at the Sound Garden. They uh, have booked us a table and there's live music playing tonight so that should be super super cool. Nice to catch up with old friends just before Christmas. So let's go! On the C34, which comes all the way up along the coast, we'll go past Henty's Bay and then we'll enter the Skeleton Coast and then we will go and see the Cape Cross Seal Colony and all the sort of shipwrecks and that along the way. Uh, we have set aside the whole day to do this because it's around about 528 kilometers that we're doing today, which is a good seven hours without stops. Uh, so I think if we get moving really early, we should be good. Um, anyway, we're going to carry on up here and then we're going to turn right onto the C39. We will exit uh, the Skeleton Coast National Park through Springbok Wasser and then we'll come up here and then we'll hop a left onto the C43, which is going to take us all the way up, 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 up and to the Angongo Hot Springs where we're going to be spending two nights having some R&R time. So we booked in for two nights at Angongo Waterfall Camp, which has proved to be a really nice surprise. They've got hot springs and waterfalls and the most incredible birds here. So we just decided to come and take a walk um, upstream and just come and see what we could find and just chillax a little bit. We've had lots and lots of days in the car traveling very far. So this is a really nice relaxing change. Um, and they've got a really nice like natural pool with a waterfall coming straight into it that you can swim in. So I think we may be doing that later today because the sun is now out with a vengeance and it's getting super hot.
today we'll be leaving Ongongo Hot Springs and we're just going to hop back onto the C43 which is going to take us all the way up, 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 up and to Yupupa Falls on the Angolan border. It's around about a 331 kilometers, about five hours with no stops. Um, but I think this should be a, a nice scenic drive and hopefully we see some interesting things. We've never been up this side before. Um, so this is all going to be brand new for us too. Good morning! Today we will be going to Yupupa Falls. We've just left Ongongo Waterfall Camp. We had two really nice days there to just chillax a little bit. Now we're on the road again. We've got like 300 and... How many? 300 and something case to go today. Uh, we're just going to Sesfontaine first so we can get our tyre fixed because apparently when we go up north you're supposed to go with more than one vehicle because the roads are quite bad but you know we like living on the edge so it's fine. Um, so tonight we will be tonight will be Christmas Eve and Father Christmas is coming tonight guys. Father Christmas is coming tonight. Father Christmas is coming tonight. Wonderful. So it's Christmas Eve and we'll probably do a nice braai and then tomorrow is Christmas Day. Yay! So we are not we're not inside a park at all and there's just free roaming wildlife on the main roads. That's pretty cool. <laughs> so this fuel station. <laughs> Yowza! Tire is fixed, we are leaving Sesfontaine. We have the ultimate cheeseburger. We got Doritos and cream cheese laughing cow and bully beef. Now we need is some tomato sauce. <laughs> This really was such a special place to be for Christmas Day. Um, I, I cannot explain how beautiful Yupipa Falls is. Like you actually have to just come here and see it for yourself. So, so incredibly beautiful. And it just carries on and on and on. There's just waterfalls cascading from everywhere. Um, so definitely I would recommend putting this one on your bucket list. Finally, yeah. We've been waiting to come to these waterfalls forever and ever. A big bucket list item. The water smoke coming up the side. Ah, oh, look at this beautiful big bay there. And it's in flower as well.
we've had a really, really, really lazy Christmas day. Today we swam, we slept, and now we're just doing an afternoon walk to the falls, take some photos, and then tonight we're having um, tonight we're having supper at the restaurant, which should be nice. Very windy at the moment, but it seems to be the afternoon norm here. So we'll show you some of the beautiful falls of sunset. It was really beautiful. We got certain nice sunset shots of the falls. Uh, now we're going back for some supper. Merry Christmas! We decided to do dinner tonight in Christmas style. Okay, I'm all right. <laughs> so we've just come out on an early morning walk. Um, we're looking for the Cinderella wax bill, which only occurs up here. I don't know if we'll be lucky enough to see it, but we thought before it gets very hot we'll come and have a look and see. Um, just standing by the falls and looking at the rainbow with the light like coming through the spray that's coming up is really, really beautiful. Um, it's going to be another hot day today and we've arranged to go and perhaps go and see the Himbers this afternoon, which would be it's pretty cool. Fun. Yeah. So I'm hoping to get some really nice portrait photos of them, um, but yeah, probably just another very chill day. Maybe we'll explore a little bit up the river. Um, We're going to take a drive to an area below the waterfall that they call the beach and we'll try and um, do some fishing there for some and Canadian, of crocodiles. Canadian park. Yeah, the guy said we have to be careful. Crocodiles are very bad. Too. Yeah, I think yeah, they like this food is scarce and so um, goats are probably on the menu. Goats and people. <laughs> We've just driven down, um, not too far from camp, maybe about a kilometer or so, taking one of the little side roads to come down to the bottom of the falls. And we're just gonna chill out here for a little while, look for some birds, maybe the guys will fish a bit. But uh, yeah, just exploring the area. So these seem to be some of the remains of a village that was here. Obviously with the drought, they ran out of food and moved on, uh, but Situated nicely here on the Kaneni River. They make very simple little houses. Easy to build or rebuild, I suppose, wherever they move on. I can't say I'd really like to sleep in here. Doesn't look very comfortable. <laughs> Seems to be covered in like dung or something. Could be wrong, but it looks dung-like. looking for some supplies to take to the Himba village this afternoon. Um, so we're just at the little shops trying to look for some stuff for them. Okay, we're on our way to the Himba village. We've got a guide with us and we're gonna go take some beautiful photos.
back from the Himbers and we've just had a shower and supper and now we're just relaxing under the trees got some really beautiful photos and learnt a lot about the Himba tribes and yeah it was just a really lovely afternoon and now we're just chillaxing and I think we'll probably have an early night because we've got an early start tomorrow morning and we're going to be heading down the D3700 which apparently is okay at the moment and we are going down to the Ruakana region